ladies and gentlemen, Michael B's from all around the world. Happy birthday to all of you. We're in the the cons expanded Phantom Cube League. We are one player away from hopping into this bad boy and drafting Sultai Value once again. Uh, oh, that sounded bad. I'm gonna check the carry between the two. Michael, okay. seems to be okay. That was a totally normal noise to make on a chair, guys. Totally normal chair noise. Hold on, I'm gonna check it off screen. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Solid. Oh boy. I have no idea. That was a real to do. There's a breeding pool and a temple of mystery. Both of those seem nice if we're going for soul time value here. Mardu also seems very good. Butcher of the Horde seems great. Maybe we just take the Butcher. And then maybe this Zergo comes back. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything. Well, if Mike falls on his ass during this stream... <clears throat> You'll be welcomed with my excellent content. And then he gets to buy me a new chair. So it's really a win-win for you. Yeah, I guess that's true. Except for the fact that it's going to be real hard to find a chair for a table set that I bought like seven years ago. There is that issue. I'll make you one from scratch. Uh, okay, no, don't do that because I don't want a shitty chair. Hey, man, you don't know about my chair-making skills. You're right, because they don't exist. I can learn. Mm, you won't, though, because you have no initiative. Got him. <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. The spell costs three less if you control control four greater. Change the target to target iron. Sure. It could be roast. I also like Valorous Stance as well. I think roast is probably better. I'll just take the red-white lane. Yeah, roast is pretty good, though. No, the red-white lane. You might be right. <clears throat> This card seems busted, though. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you make a 1-1 flyer. Isn't that just really good? Why would we commit to this when we can just take this guy? Well, like, then your deck has to be, like, full of spells, and if you don't draw that guy, then your deck sucks. We'll just play Oops All Spells, Michael. Fine, I'll take this stupid land. Look, <clears throat> and there's another one. It's a good one. And then there's a Chief. This is a demon, not a demon warrior. Okay. Not a demon Chief. Do you have your instant bolster x and number tap creatures you control? This card's actually bonkers. This card was busted in uh, in cons limited. What does it do? Uh, <clears throat> at the beginning of your end step, bolster X where X is the number of tap creatures you control. This seems okay. So every turn you're like putting just numerous counters on your guys. I'm gonna take this blood crypt. Legion War Boss is pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, that guy's fine, I guess. He's okay. Yeah, he's no blood crypt, that's for sure. <clears throat> right, I'm familiar with uh, Jeskai spells being the Jeskai archetype and Mardu warriors being the Mardu archetype, so. I hear I hear you guys. I know what you're saying. Remember that time Mike broke the chair? But he, he made a bad noise, but there's no visible damage. I don't know if that fixes it, though. I even flipped it over. He flipped it over, guys. <clears throat> He turned it on its head. Who did? Michael, Michael, Michael. Man, Hunter loves that bone. That's my favorite thing ever. Well, if he flipped it, it's a, he's exonerated. <laughs> well, if he didn't flip, he must have quit. That's what I always say. Ooh. Ooh. Pale Life, put a one encounter. Remove X one encounters, it deals X damage. This card seems just terrible to me. Yeah, really slow. This is a warrior, though. Other attacking creatures get plus one, plus one whenever it attacks. It's a 3-2 for two. <clears throat> Seems okay. Whenever a warrior you control deals combat damage to a player, you may pay one, and if you do draw a card, that seems even better. Yeah, I'm taking this. Thank you. Month Sonster, 23 months? We're so close to one year, buddy. Our one-year anniversary is right around the corner. Vicious Offering seems great. If I was Sultai, I could play Mystic Snake. He's, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, we're just taking Vicious Offering. That's solid Seems removal. Seems good. I'm good. <clears throat> I hate you. 
Yeah, well, so much. How much? What do you think? Things bear punch or zombie get bros? Zombie get bros? Why are we taking bear punch in our Mardu deck? All right. <laughs> zombie bros it is. Oh, my God. Uh, I kind of like Sanctifier here. Flips up, destroys an enchantment. Play it as a three drop. Really? Or make two two twos and then make two two twos again? Hey, look how many four drops we got, man. <coughs> See, and then we take this cast out. But we have too many four drops. That's what I'm saying. My point is that, like, we'd be taking another four drops, so we kind of want to minimize the number of four drops. I could just take Tormenting Voice, but I don't think that's better than Cast Out. Cast Out seems pretty solid. Yeah, you freaking mind. Why? There's no way you ever take the crappy discard spell there. That's a good one, What though. discard spell? Torment Tormenting Voice? Yeah. It's not a discard spell, it's draw two. Uh, you have to discard a card to play it. Oh, lord. I'll take the new <clears throat> Scraft Mod. <clears throat> new Souls McGraffleton. That was my nickname in college. No, it wasn't. It was stupid dumpster, baby. <laughs> He's right. I was hoping he wouldn't know, but he knew. Wow, this guy came back. A table? Wow. Also the roast? Oh, boy. Probably just take the roast. Yeah, I think it is just the roast, but it feels bad. I mean, it feels good that it came back, though. Our only red card is Butcher, but we do have two red lands, so might as well commit to the Sultai. <laughs> <laughs> or, god dang it, the Mardu. <laughs> Wow, that was an accident. That was just how, how salt I That was literally, are. yeah, that was literally just autopilot. Are there any, well, it's not a warrior's deck, right? Like, Doesn't that one champion warrior. need warriors? No, there's a warrior. That's a warrior. <coughs> I wish both of these weren't in the same pack, but... I think the black guy's better, right? It's racist, Michael. How many warriors do we have? Uh, one. Hmm. Ugh. I think this is better, but oh look, oh Mardu Hate Blade is great actually. This is an archer, this is an orc warrior, but it's four mana. I'd rather just have the one drop that is still a warrior. 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 Mm, don't care, but it's playable, I guess. Oh, and a land. Okay. The warrior. Does that enchantment only buff warriors? No, it buffs all creatures. Creatures you can trigger a plus one plus zero. Oh, but if a warrior does combat okay. damage, you get to draw a card. <clears throat> So I guess it's still fine even if you don't have warriors Ooh, on board. Mesa. That's a good one. <coughs> There's your one sneeze per draft that I owe you guys. Only one you say. No, I can't we'll guarantee see. that. Hard to hard we Air Mesa is pretty good. It's this is crypt. five mana for a five seven that untaps each <clears throat> creature with a counter on it. That's crazy. Thank yeah, I think we just gotta go Air Mesa. It's really a blood crypt. It's a tri land. Friendly FFS, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Well, only one more month of counting with my shoes on. <laughs> so, well, and then we got to take them off. Is that one of those phoenixes that isn't good? Oh, uh, Ashcloud Phoenix. <clears throat> when it dies, you turn the battlefield face down under your control, and then you can morph it. And when you flip it, it deals two damage. It's actually not bad. You kill it, and it comes back immediately. Leonard, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. You guys are great. That really seems okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey man, you need a lozenge? I eat. When I eat, I get. You know what? Flimped. <laughs> uh, this guy seems fine. It's a warrior three two. Is this guy a warrior? It's an elemental soldier. I like the phoenix, but I think I just want to stick with the warriors here. Strike leader. Who's that? Creator's claws is good. Uh, it's a three two for three. Whenever it attacks, create a two one black warrior creature token. It's pretty good. And it has dash for five. Yeah, for four. Pretty good. Oh, that's a good that's a good warrior, except it's a soldier. I'll try to do it off. <clears throat> Mardu Horde Chief, I remember, was great in limited. Uh because if you attack with creature you make another one one, so you get two warriors out of it. However, I'm hoping that holds true for this format. Because there's nothing else great in that pack anyway. Strike leader is so OP. Oh man. Oh buddy. Guess we got the OP card. It's pronounced Ope. It's a white dad thing. <laughs> Ope. Hot to hot, we win. 
If you survive The warrior You know the warrior? No You will one day One day <coughs> Yeah that's exactly what it sounded like Move these over here These are our actual lands These are our Oh, that's not a warrior, but that guy's real good. What does Mardu Ascension do? Oh, Sacred Foundry too. This pack is gas. Whenever a non-token creature control attacks, create a 1-1 goblin that's tapped and attacking. Sacrifice to give you creatures. Eh, it's alright. It'll That'll also probably come back way quicker than Monastery Mentor would. I think it's just Monastery Mentor, right? I don't have a lot of we should trigger it. I got one, two, three, four. Isn't that guy good? Ankle Skanker? Ankle Skanker. <clears throat> Alright, we can take Ankle Shanker. It's actually fine. It's I wish it was a warrior again, but it's just a berserker, which is weird. Bird Soldier. That guy's good. That guy's good. As long as you control it right away permanent, it gets plus one, plus one, and has first strike. Smiting Helix seems great here. <clears throat> we can use both sides. Oh, we can use all parts of the buffalo here. <laughs> and I bet this comes back. Yeah, we're taking the Smiting Helix. Neil Spires. Death Grasp. That seems good. Tygam. Nah. You know, what, you know what this does? I forget. But Instant Sorcery and Dragon <clears throat> spells you control can't be countered. That's pretty good. Whenever you cast an Instant Sorcery spell from your hand, if it's a if it's attacked this turn, that spell gains. If Tygam attacked this turn, you that gains rebound. Interesting. I like Neil Spires. I also do like Death Grasp. I think I just want the Fixing Land. That is also a creature. Ooh. Ooh! Seeker of the Way is a great warrior. Warrior and... He's also, real good. Also, Response Resurgence seems amazing, though. You can deal 5 damage to attack and a blocker, or you get a second combat phase, and your creatures get first strike and vigilance. That seems really good. Yeah, but we really want aggressive two drops in this deck. I think you're right, even though I hate you. Uh, you you can feel free to hate me. I don't, I don't need your permission. I hate you. Is Lush any good? Actually, not bad. It's a warrior. It gets back honored. Honored. Uh, it gets that's like a lot of things, actually. This. This. Oh, this is a zero zero? Yeah, it gets back that, technically. Dragon Skill General. It gets back almost our whole deck, actually, except for Butcher and Strike Leader. And this guy. Seems worth. Yeah, Lush just seems great. Seems worth Wolpert. Uh, we can just take Obzid, that's aid, or Fire Maw Copper, perhaps. Return permanent from your graveyard to the battlefield. Mm. Meh. We can just take Fire Maw Copper. Maybe we'll play it, who knows? Who knows, man, you know? Who knows? Who knows, Michael? Why is that core card in here? Core Sanctifiers? Is that the one that kills an enchantment? Yeah, or an artifact. Oh, okay. Which I think is fine. We can just take that. Anok Bonkin. Oh, a Hound Soldier. Not even a Warrior. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> stupid idiot. It's still okay, though. He's a stupid idiot. <coughs> you wouldn't want to play it? It's not a Warrior. Yeah, it's a 2-drop. Oh, 2-drop? That's exciting. Oh, wow. Also, if we get any oh. more Outlast guys, that'll have synergy. Wow. And it came back. You don't play that? No, it's horse shit. Really? No, that's maybe fine. I don't know. It could be good. Whatever, man. Get in there. Attacky. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. You wish you were my dad. What would I wish that? Because then you'd have... Shut up. Because <laughs> then you'd have shut up. Exactly. Got him. <clears throat> no. No, you didn't. Buddy, you were so gotten. No. Why don't you cry Vetoed. to your... Damn it. Well, I didn't even know you had you those. Get per, you get one per stream. I don't know what this does. One SSA. It's 2-2 two, two for 4. Whenever it does combat damage to the way that player to sacrifice a creature. Oh, so you're just like hoping to get through and then flip it. Oh, what does this do? This is our color. 
Whenever a creature you control attacks, it gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That seems bonkers. It seems worth playing. Patron of the Valiant. Whenever it's battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it. Eh. I mean, this is great because it's a 4-4 flyer for 5, but that's pretty much it. Warrior. Seems fine. Soulfire Grandmaster. Destroy a creature with power 4 or greater. That's actually pretty good. It's also got lifelink, which is... And it's know, a warrior. Something. A warrior! Uh, uh, Warfare Flyer is pretty good, though. No, Michael. Just stop it. No. Oh, no. <clears throat> Temple of Malicio. Malicio del Toro. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. So that actually would probably kill everything but our guys. Ooh, a Path to Exile. That's pretty good. Is that better than Temple? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Mana fixing is real strong here. I want to take the Temple, I think. We're pretty good on removal, I think, and uh, I would rather have... We have a lot I think of that one that gives you guys plus two, plus oh might be better than the Ascendancy. Right? Like, creating a Goblin is cute, but that's like... Oh, this is plus, plus two, plus two, not plus two, plus oh. Did you say plus two, plus oh? Oh, it's plus two, plus two? Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty that's a you big You should definitely bonus. be playing that. I've never heard of this card before. Fervent Charge from Seems uh, good. Plane Shift. It's pretty or hard to deal with. Or Apocalypse. Apocalypse, I think. Yeah, let's play that over the Ascendancy. Why not both? I guess so. I'll put the Dara Sanctifier on the sideboard, actually. <whistles> if you still have... Oh, Battle Up. What were you going to say? I say, what the hell you do? Whenever Thresh Root or another warrior enters the battlefield, target opponent loses life and you gain a life. Okay. Hellion is... Devour one, it gets uh, it deals three damage to each creature when there's a battlefield. Oh, that's just gonna kill our guys. I don't like that. Yeah, it's gonna kill literally probably all of our creatures. Ooh, two mana, two two, exert it to create a one one. Oh, that seems great. Oh yeah, that's great. That's just a warrior that makes it's other also warriors. Just a warrior, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Give me that. Give me that warrior synergy. Hey man, you ever had your ankle shank before? No. You will. Hopefully not. One day, Michael. When? One day! More like it. Ooh, Linvala. I do like a Linvala. Hey, man, there's your preview card. Which one? Oh, Grim Harrow Specs? Yeah. How did you remember that? That's amazing. How would I not remember that? That was like, because that's like 10 years ago, man. It's really that long ago? It's like seven years ago, yeah. Uh, You may exert this. It gets plus one, plus two, so it's a three, three with trample. Sure. Smelt Ward Minotaur, two, three for three. Whenever you cast an instant target creature, an opponent comes, you can't block this turn. Okay. I kind of like just Linvala. This is a 5-5 five, five flyer for 6, and you gain 5 and make a 3-3 three, three if you don't have anything. Yeah, seems good. Yeah. I would like another land before... Man, that Sacred Foundry didn't come back? That's sad. It was collective effort due. Destroy a creature with power 4 or greater, destroy an enchantment, or put one encounter on each creature target player controls. That could be good. That's probably the best so card in this babe. pack. Skin thinner... This is what you look like in the morning? That's what I look like right now. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Campaign Avengers, whenever a creature control attacks, the player loses life and you gain a life. Ooh, right. Warlord's Helix. Uh, that's good. What yeah, does Fire Mane Avenger do again? Uh, whenever it attacks and you lose two other creatures, it deals three damage. Oh, it's Lightning Helix is whenever you attack with two other dudes. Interesting. We could have Smiting Helix and Warlord's Helix. That's so many Helixes. Helices, if you will. I think the instant is better. We do have six. Yeah, we have sixteen creatures too, so I'm okay with that. I would really like some lands here. Can I get some lands? Not the right kind. Apparently not. <laughs> Bunch of garbage. Target player. I just think I have warrior. All things should be warriors. Yeah, soldier, soldier. Set. I'm just gonna take Chainer's Edict. Sure. Oh, there we go. 
Firing Vantage. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, I will. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. We have to make one cut here so far. Probably Tendency. But I want to make lots of dudes. I want to make some dudums. I want to make some doo-doos. I mean, I guess. I guess. Oh, look, the patron came back. Just kind of random fatty flyer. Yeah, you ain't kidding. There's a lot of fours. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? You know? What are you going to do? Do people take injuries good? Yes. Thrasher Brute is a warrior. I guess I'll take you. Maybe it is a four drop we cut. I feel like it is, but I don't know what. Maybe the plus two plus two thing is like... It's whenever any creature attacks, though. That seems hard to deal with. That's like an overrun every single your opponents? Turn. Whenever a creature you control attacks, okay. it gets plus two plus two until end of turn. I feel like I'm almost missing something. I'm like, this is really what strong. What does that, that red guy do? This one? Mm-hmm. Uh, when it enters battlefield, it does two damage to a creature. When it leaves the battlefield, it does four damage to a creature. And you can evoke it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. It does a lot of things. Um, I think we can cut one of the six drops though. And if only that guy was Mardu. It's Echo. No, it's uh, yeah, it's Echo. That's right. Never mind. Oh, it's Echo. In the sense of like, I, I thought it was evoke in the sense of like you could just not pay for the Echo to get the same ability. So I just. Got a little, I, I just got a little confused. What? Six mana is a lot, though. Right, which is why I think we should cut one of the six drops. Yeah, we can put the Lone Vault on the sideboard for now. I like New Scraft Mob because you can get it back with Alesha, which is pretty strong. But I also do like collective effort because it puts counters on things. And then you can use this guy to put counters on things. But I think we're actually just fine like this. Also, our I feel like the angel might weird. be better than the the echo guy. Really, it's just removal though. Yeah, but it's like a four two. But this like, I don't know. So I what? just think even if there's no upside to that, it's like a, it's a it's a big flyer. It's a five five. Go win the game. Michael, listen to me. Okay. Okay. Good. Need you a little brownie bit. This is fudge from the candy kitchen, bro. Oh. Okay. It's also a white card, and we're mostly white, so. I'm gonna have one mountain in here. Nothing costs two red, and we only have two individual red cards. And all of our lands produce red. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is seven red sources. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, black sources we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. White sources we have four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight, eight, seven. Seems good. And we still get one more. Nice. Uh, I'll add one more white. Okay. Done. Let's do it. The warrior. Who's that? A heart? Who's that? Who's that? Pat Benatar? Sounds right. Oof. Okay, that was really loud. Do you say oof? Mm -hmm. Like a brown oof? Yeah. Like a collector oof? Yeah. That's cool, man. That's super cool, brah. What is what's scandal homorph scandal at me? What's happening right now? Did I miss something? Oh, look at this. No white. I'm still gonna keep this hand because we have a temple of mouth. Scandal is the artist. The band is scan. Wait. Oh, really? What? That was so like not. Wow. It is. 
that was so not even on my radar that like I didn't even understand what you guys were saying. That's insane. Like it didn't even cross my mind that you guys were telling me the band. Really need a white source. Okay, we'll get one then, okay? Tide Taker makes Morph cost more? Suppose your opponent's gonna... Oh, it makes their Morphs cost more. Abilities your opponent's control to activate cost one more. Activate unless they're mana abilities. That's interesting. Planes. White Source. Come on, show me the money. Nope. nope. See you later. Bottom of the deck. Oh, great. My first Tarkir Cube. First match against Frank. Haha. Ha, good luck. Have fun. And I'm like, buddy, I went 1 2 in the first one of these bad boys. So we shall see. What kind of fudge, man? Andy's mint. Oh, that's no good. Who's Andy? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. <laughs> oh, this guy's bad news, Bears. Oh, boy. Jesus. Well, we get to cast that next turn, luckily. So this will be a 3-3. Three, three. We'll shoot it. We'll gain 3. They'll shoot us for 3. So we're basically just breaking even. Good to know. <laughs> hey, buddy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Are we just, is this going to be like last night where we play Saltai and we only play against Saltai and then now we play Mardu and we only play we're against, against Mardu? Mardu? Yeah, it's, it sure seems like it, huh? Oh, look. Warrior mirror match. Warrior, warrior. That's kind of weird, right? All right, well, let's let's get our helix on. It's going to be white mana. Oh, all right. It was not. I wish it was. I'll never tell. It's awkward now because our hand is full of white cards, so we need at least two white sources to, to start playing two things a turn. But I feel like that's a little ambitious. We're a bit of ways away from that. No blockums. Imagine Callie into Busher, that'd be gas. Is Callie in the cube? Oh, another white card. I'm just gonna not play anything, I guess. Pretty sure we have nine white sources, right? It was nine, eight, seven. Yep. <clears throat> oh, and current standard. Um, I don't know if that would be too broken. Cause you just search for it, right? Like she doesn't actually put it into play. You just be drawing a butcher, but it's still I mean it's still pretty sweet. Yeah, not broken, but good. Agreed. What does this guy do? Oh, we discarded three cards? Yikes. Sure. You know what? One, two. I'll get rid of the enchantment. Really? Yeah, we're not going to be attacking anytime soon. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're having a good time. Let me guess this guy's like a 2 3 or something? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Classic 2 3. I swear we're Mardu. What did you do in a past life? Apparently, I drew planes. I drew all the mana in, uh, in reasonable amounts that I ever needed. Ooh. Is that Mike? That is Mike. How did you know? No, my name is Carlos. Carlos Santana. Oh, I like to join with a real person. Player. Yeah, you want the real human being that exists in the world. You really let yourself go, Carlos Santana. <laughs> hey, man, you don't even know what Carlos Santana looks like. Yes, I do. He's got a mustache. He's got a black hat. It's really hard to describe him other than that. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. That's literally, it's every picture of him is a mustache and a black hat. <laughs> oh, boy. 
I just don't have my black hat. Well, that's your fault, not mine, okay? It's in the shop. Jesus. This guy can block, right? Boy, I hope so. You ain't kitten. I'll be honest, when I made that joke, I was hoping Carlos Santana was fat now, so I could be like, see? <laughs> but he wasn't. <laughs> when you started saying that, I was like, I thought you were going to be like, I was hoping Carlos Santana was in chat right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, that seems aggressive, I don't know. What is this, War Flare? Alright, that's fine. It's four mana spell. Yeah, that's a fine trade. How are we like still in this game? It's unbelievable. I mean, he's only had like a 2-3 for like 9 turns, so... Well, they have one... Yeah, but like how, though? You know, like... Well, we mean we gain life. We've, we've had to discard 3 we've, cards. We've killed another thing. We've had to discard 3 cards. We don't have a white source. Oh, boy. Take my money. I ain't kidding about these bucks, bucks. Josh... <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have a removal. I feel like Josh just buys me lunch every day. <laughs> Josh, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome. <laughs> Good times. Uh, do you have any recommendations on fun cheap modern decks? Been wanting to get into it. Bought a storm one, but don't really. Of course, like the last card's a removal spell. Obviously. Hmm. Well, makes sense. Why they'd be holding it? Should have baited him with the with other the card. steward. Yeah. Um. What's a fun? A fun cheap modern deck. What's like a cheap fun modern deck? I have no idea. I, I would. I think the Noran Sisters deck is super fun on Magic Online. IRL, it's actually incredibly just terrible. Why? It's just there's too many triggers. Well, don't forget them, Scrub. Uh, gets plus one plus one for each other creature control. Plus one plus one counter trigger. Yeah, that card's on that that card's unbeatable. That card's just gonna kill us. The interesting thing about this cube is that the bombs that were bombs in Cons of Tark here are still bombs here. Oh, that'll work. Wow. That was a good draw. Wow. What even? Well, yeah, we did pass this guy, but the problem is, like, we... I think we took a, uh, like, a fetch, or uh, some kind of duel over it. Bombs of Tar Tar here. What in Tar here nation? All right, let's. The Warriors. Shut up and take my money. Don't you dare spend these bucks on lunch, Josh. I would never do that. I would never spend your money on lunch. I would probably spend that. Uh oh. Lunch. That guy's a bit of a problem. Wait. Eh, it's indestructible for as long as your turn. Yikes. Or because other other zero dies, but a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Oh, God. Why? Why couldn't they just put a counter on this at the end of their turn? And yeah, now we're forced to block. <sighs> it's like the worst. We're basically dead. That's like the worst thing that could have ever happened in my life, I think. You gonna hit us with a mythic rare? It's messed up, man. Whereas also, like, if we could just flip this on our turn, then we get to kill this. Like, it's just like the most perfect card to have drawn there. Like, I can't even handle it. Five lunch bugs. <laughs> Kurt's like, I got you covered. Yep. Well, somebody's buying me lunch, apparently. Yep, and that does nothing. But at least I gain life. I think. Nope, I don't, because it's... Right? Yes, I did. Yeah, because that's why I stayed at nine. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez, Rick. Well, we can flashback the Helix thing, right? Uh, the Helix? What does that do? Oh, I guess we kill this thing? Does that kill it? It can't be that easy, right? Yeah. Well, indestructible on your turn. Get out of here, man. That's too good. 
Can I make you play more EDH soon? It's possible. It's possible. Usually I only play EDH when people want me to play EDH decks. That's pretty much the only time I play EDH. It's called Commander. It is called Commander. Wow, I feel like such a scrub. Yep. Why are they just drawing like so many bombs right now? We were doing so well. They have more gas? Jeez. Oh, never mind. And dead. I mean, we could we can get one more turn, right? We'll block here. We'll take five probably because they'll put a counter on this thing. But what does that do? Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. Okay, let's try to draw our all of our colors here. Chainers either actually seems pretty good against them. God, the hidden dragon slayer when they just didn't put a counter on their guy makes me so sad. I think I have to charge for now. Bring in Chainer's Edict. What EDH do you use as your leader for your commander deck? <laughs> Jesus, God. Next is a fake commander incoming. Oh, God. Is that good? What? Next is a fate and commander? That can't be that good, right? Next is a fate? What does that do? You take an extra turn and shuffle it in. Oh, that card's amazing. What are you talking about? Really? <clears throat> I don't know how many ways there are to, like, recur it and... Honestly, stream, if you could stream any game of the MTG and make the same profit, would you, what would you stream? Um, Wow, that is a good question. Does it have to be one game? Because I would love to stream RPGs. I would love to stream, like, The Wa the Witcher, Skyrim, Fallout, like, games like that. Wallet of 61 months, dude? That's insane. That's five years, man. I guess I was probably... Was I equally as excited five years when it was at the 60 mark? Because that seems nuts. Cons block, best block. I'd say change my mind, but why would I challenge people to waste effort on such a pat patently wrong position? I agree. And that's not just because I top aided a cons block GP. Sure it isn't, buddy. It might be. Also, like, people play... Beacon of Tomorrow and Commander, so next to the face is strictly better. Is it strictly better? Yes, because it can get countered and it still shuffles into your deck. Oh my god. Also, but, it's a really good last card to have at the bottom of your deck when you play uh, Enter the Infinite. That just sounds like cheating, Michael. Beacon of Tomorrow is cost one more. Mm -hmm. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Shuffle Beacon of Tomorrow is into Not strictly better because you can target someone. Ha ha ha. Yeah, like I'd ever target my opponent. Doesn't matter. It's that still actually, an option. No, that actually makes it worse because that way people can like swerve you and stuff, and like steal but it from you. Politically speaking, if someone's like, if I had one more turn, I could win the game here, or I can kill this threatening person, then you can give them an extra turn. I guess. It's just so that, it's, that outweighs the balance. Just because you like it better doesn't, or like it has better applications, doesn't mean it's strictly better. Strictly better means in every sense of the word, because you can target it. It's not. So what it was? What is it actually? What is uh into the infinite access or not into the nexus infinite. fate? Yeah, what is uh, fate it's just, just take an extra turn after this. None of the tar none of the turn spells target anymore. Take an extra turn after this one. If it would put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into your library. Okay. And I agree, it's a lot better. Strictly is a very rare circumstance. It just means there's in zero situations would I ever want this one over this one, for example, you know. And there is a situation. There's situations in Commander where you could be like, well, this is better. White, red, black. What are we playing here? Alesha or Mardu Strike Leader? Wish I had a way to discard this, to be quite honest with you. I mean, Nexus can be hit by Graveyard Hate if you respond to the trigger of it going back into their deck. So, like, instant speed Graveyard Hate would work. Oh, uh, it's not a trigger, though. It's a replacement effect. It never goes to the Graveyard. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it shuffles in instead. Oh, so you actually can't get it with, like... Uh... No, you can never... There's no point where it's in the Graveyard to Exile. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's, I didn't know that. It's a, it's a weird card. Yeah, if it, would, if it would be put into a Graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it instead so it never hits the Graveyard. You reveal it instead. Okay. 
No, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Which is super weird because I actually never considered that until right now that it just ne- there's never in the graveyard. She actually can't hate it out. It's messed up. Yeah, you just get wrecked. Well, that's sad. No, Leyline won't exit either because it never hits the yard graveyard. It never hits the graveyard. Can replacement effects be overruled by other replacement effects? Uh, I think so. I think Probably, it's, depending on the situation. Yeah, I don't know how it works. I think it's like... Uh, I don't it's... know where that would come up, though. Oh, without flying, huh? Well, That's a layers question if I read one. I hate layers. I mean, I want to cycle this to draw land, but this is the card I'm using to get rid of this, so it's kind of, like, not really ideal. Yeah. Oh, Lance, what's going on, buddy? Man, I would love to have a fourth land. I feel like, am I asking for too much by just wanting a fourth land to hit all my land drops? Apparently. I never thought I was, but, huh. Oh, good. Oh, isn't that great? It never hits the graveyard, so it doesn't get exiled. Oh look, I was right. No, it's it's two, two, two replacement effects. What shenanigans have been taking place in Florida? I'll never tell. Okay, well I can kill that guy. I can roast him. Oh, this is great. Roast him and toast him. This is a five five, right? Okay, it's gonna be a land. It's not a land. Roasty and toasty. Yeah, in that case, I don't actually know what would win there. Layliner next to fate. I don't know who would win there. Layliner next to fate. If they fought today and they had a little battle, I don't know which one would win the battle. <laughs> actually, might come up in real games. That makes sense. I'm gonna play a 192634 cre oh god. That's a big piece of shit right there. Yeah, that's haste. Oh, does it, Michael? Which is very unfortunate. Well, we're only at five? What could go what could possibly go wrong? Now we're at six. Got him. Oh boy. So we can kill the six five. Yeah. Which isn't great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's the only thing we can do. It's okay, we hit our fourth land on turn seven. That's a totally normal thing to do. Oh, I'm going to have to do it now. Oh, so they just put a counter on this, make it a 2-2, two, two, this is a 4, and then it's still lethal. Fantastic. Oh, boy.
Not great, Bob. Can I sponsor you to play games on MTG? Like, how much per hour would you ask to play other games? As long as you don't like them, I think you'd have maybe more fun. As a I think I agree with that. I agree with that a lot, actually. It's just hard to take the... It's been hard to take the... I don't want you to sponsor me in the sense of, like, you just pay me to play games. However, Josh, you have been an extremely generous soul in the past, so... I'm pretty sure even if I was like, I don't want you to do that, you'd still probably do it to some degree. I feel like I could just find a... I feel like I just pick a day and I'll be like, okay, Friday's like the variety day or like Sunday's the variety day or something and I'll just play some. The one thing I've always been worried about is the length of the games that I would want to play. Like if I want to play Witcher, it's like 70 hours. So if I play for like three hours every Sunday, it's going to take like nine years, 25 sessions or something ridiculous. Oh, uh, I don't think it was Watch Dogs. I never played Watch Dogs, but I have listened to The National, so... One play Super Mario 2 buck. We put 17 lands in the deck, right? Like, I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, I remember. Okay. I remember playing GTA for a while. That was fun. Oh, I played GTA. Um, we played Resident Evil, but I mean, like, I don't think I was listening to the National through any of those. Resident Evil is shorter, though. You're shorter. Philly, what's going on, buddy? Oh, another black card. Okay, well. I didn't answer my point. I forgot to answer my point about the what deck to play, but. Okay, well, we have eight black sources, and uh, I don't know why we're not hitting all of our colors. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not our a man big... is actually pretty good. Yeah, our man is great. Like, we have seven, eight, nine. Eight and nine are the number of sources you would have in a normal draft. If you have 17 lands, they're all one color. You'd have eight and nine. And then we have seven of the third color, which is just also ridiculous. Like, our, our mana base should be fine. It's weird. It seems like we keep drawing a lot of red sources, even though that's, like, our like our least color. Sure. Well, at least you can play it, I guess. Thank goodness. Shooting knots. Wait, auto mod exists. Bad people is good. No, I don't think auto mod would actually stop you from saying shooting Nazis is good. If it would, I would I would just allow it anyway. For any of my Nazi viewers out there, fuck off, <laughs> and I don't mind if I offended you. I just love the threads where people are like, um. Why is it okay to say punch Nazis? It's a political idea, and the whole thread is just people like, no, nope, you're stupid. Punch Nazis. Come right, on. like... <laughs> Sorry, man. Like... When your political ideas literally involve killing people, you can fuck off and die. Oh, good. Another four drop. Not that any land will let us play that. Oh, look. A land that's not black. Preach it, Moochel. <laughs> Crinkling up my wax paper. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jesus. How do you exist on a day to day basis? Sometimes I wake up in the morning, and I don't know if Mike is home or not. And then I'll just have to double check and just make sure, like, if he's a figment of my imagination at that time. Crinkling up my wax paper. Mike and foreground Mike. Oh my god. Wait, they didn't attack? That's amazing. Oh, Billy Biscuits. Buttery Billy Biscuits and his big bottoms. Buttery Billy Biscuits and his big bottoms. Big bottom biscuits make the rock and... Hey, why didn't you shock him? I don't know, because I wanted to wait, because this guy's going to get a prowess trigger. Mm-hmm. 
But I think I do want to just get rid of it because I don't know what it is. It's a scary thing. What does equipment give him? Plus two, plus two. Dang it. It's very good. Mario Party. Dude, let me tell you how badly I want to get a Switch right now because of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. I don't know anything about that game. The first Marvel or Ultimate Alliance games were friggin' great, and I was a fan of them. And I hate that this one's only available for the Switch. That makes me really sad. I'm hoping that it, it de-exclusifies eventually, but it's probably going to take a while. Let's borrow Felipe's. I guess that's possible. We'd have to like hook it up to the big TV. He ain't going to want that. There's a game called Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes in which you're supposed to defuse a bomb and your partner tells you how while well, the timer ticks. It's so much fun. Really? Is it, a, is it a computer game? PC game? Yeah. I'm eating hard cheese. Jesus, Carwin. <laughs> yeah, that game's actually <laughs> awesome. I've seen people play it. It's pretty, it's pretty hilarious. Really? How do you... Interesting. I like our five color opponent is getting there and we can't get there on a three color. I deck. can't get a third I can't get a third color and our opponent's like casual five color hey, look they actually like eh got rid of the planes. Oh well. Well guys, I don't have any I don't have any VR yet, so Swamp? No, that would be that would be a lot to ask for, I think. I can dream about you if I kill so DC tonight. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I assumed I could play it without it. I'm just trying to tell you guys that you guys can stop bragging about your VR technology. Because I didn't buy anything yet for VR. I could. I don't feel like it, though. Is the other problem with VR? You need, like, a VR space. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Your whole life is VR. That's true. I don't know what anything is. This is just... Oh, come this is, on. This is freaking ridiculous. How, how, come on, man. This is two games where I've had mana issues. Let me. I'm going to count the mana and make sure we have the colors and sort and number of things that I think we do. What is it? Play a game with an MTG, your pick, though I'd recommend some kind of RPG that you enjoy. Maybe we can... Start. That sounds... That sounds pretty all right. Let's do it. Josh, you are awesome, dude. What is that weird number? 9242? <laughs> I feel like that was meant to do something, but I don't know what it did. It's got a 69 now. Nice. It does have 69. That's true. All right, so... Swamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of black. Okay. Red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. White. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Oh, 10 sources of white. That's interesting. Maybe we cut a white and go 9 9? Sure. But then I worry we have too many swamps. I don't know, man. Is that right? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 No, 9. What was I How was I miscounting that 10 times? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. Okay, only 9. All right, yeah. So uh, we have Nine, eight, seven. Yeah, I don't understand it. Hmm. We don't have too much white. We didn't. It's, we have nine white sources and eight black sources. Don't just say things randomly. Also, we're no mostly back. white. So we yeah, actually... we have more white sources. We have more white cards than anything else in the deck. So it's like, I'm er, am I earlier? You guys late? Exactly. Exactly. Snap key. It's got all our colors. We have one double black card at two, and we have eight black sources. Like I don't think that's that's not what's causing the problem here. Like Those that's, cards only require one black. Like, like it was like turn eight last game when we had five lands with no black sources, and we have eight black sources in the deck. Like it just doesn't. What is this nonsense? What are you linking here, you maniac? Now that's what I call now. What is that? Why does that exist? A hundred hits from a hundred nows. Wow. <laughs> Wait, how is this a real thing? This looks like a meme that's, that's actually ridiculous. being sold on Amazon.
Now that's what I call now, Michael. <laughs> what? What? That's almond milk. And I get it, but it's like kind of disturbing. You're kind of disturbing. This isn't right. It's not okay. Okay, you ready? We're gonna play a creature. You ready? I've never thought. I never thought I would see this day. What does that guy do again? Uh, during your during your turn, spells your opponents cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponents activate cost one more to activate, unless they're mana abilities. And he also dies and makes a little duty. Makes a little duty when he dies. I'm sure when you die, you'll make a little duty too. Don't we all? Yeah, actually, I think so. Look at all these nexuses. Nessuses. Excuse me, what? Nessus. Okay. You should split white and black sources 8.5 and 8.5, then maybe 7.3 red sources. That sounds better. I actually think that's probably the, the winning strategy, and I think that's where our mistake lies. Whenever a face down creature enters the battlefield, you may search your for basic land and reload put in your hand. This Trail of Mysteries is just fantastic. Can you guess who is the Trail of Mysteries? <laughs> that's not how. No. What if I do one of these jobbies? What is this shit eater? You know, Sakura's if you gain control of target creature that player. Oh, that, that seems like a good card to get rid of. Next time we got Ankle Shanker. Anky McShanky. The guy gives all your guys death touch from first strike, right? Yeah. That's right, boy. The Amazon review says great CD, good songs. <laughs> so it must be a winner. I can't think of a better uh a better review than that. That's solid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're hundred percent blocking here, I would imagine. Side in the old enchantment shooter duder morpherino. That's a good that's a solid strategy. New morph general? In commander? God damn it. They never stop. They'll never oh, wait, stop. Wait, are the Commander twenty nineteen spoilers happening finally? Uh maybe. That gives me that gives me hope. Actually they're probably up on Mythic Spoiler if they have. Can you guess who it's Michael B? No, no. It Lies. was confirmed. The keyword. Oh, the keyword. They announced the keywords. Oh, interesting. Hmm. In aug. Oh, yeah. They spoiled the themes. Got it. Got it. Morph, madness, flash, flawback, and. <laughs> well, I don't care for morph or madness. I do like flashback though. You big flawback fan? Banding. Does that mean it may soon be morphin time? It's always morphin time if you know, if you know how to look at you, the world. Michael, can you even guess who? It's no. a real, it's a real mystery, dude. Can you, Michael B? It's a mystery. Wait, now that's what I call music is older than you? Are you serious? Is that thing that's been around that long? I'm pretty sure I just want to get rid of this, but they have like 6,000 cards in their hand. Where'd they get this? They reeled off Coiling, or co coiling Oracle. Oh, buttery biscuit. Ha ha! Oh, Papa! Came out in 1983. Horsemanship. Populate. You guys just naming? Are you guys just naming things? You know what's older than Michael? Nothing. He's old as shit. <laughs> well, shit is older than I am. No, it's not. Wow. When you were born, that's when shit came into existence. Wow. This makes me sad. This seems like gimmicky commanders that are going to suck. 
You're a good Mickey Commando. That's I was way suck. more a fan of like the, I want to say 2015, 2016, the ones that were four colors. Those are just like actual powerful and good. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. So I just I just ran across this. We meet again, Captain Hook. Well, well, well. Wait, you guys call me Hook? Yeah, because of the hand. I'm um, sorry. Wow. Okay. Hey, my dad's dead too. Why not call me Captain Dead Dad? <laughs> uh, now, if you, that's this is how you feel bad for Captain Hook. You're like, oh, that's real sad. Mike B, were a commander. What would his general abilities be? I don't know. That's why you got to think about it. You numb skull. Uh, hibernate. Fuck, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Is there a, a hibernate-like mechanic? Like something you eat the way to turn? Spend, I guess. Ingest. Wow. <laughs> Ingest is a good one. Yeah. How about? Uh, is there like an ice mechanic? What's an ice mechanic? Snow? He'd be a snow creature for sure. Because of all the icy eats. What are you doing right now? Thousand winds? Return all other tap creatures to the... Jesus crying out loud. Come on, dude. Oh, that card's pretty good. I mean... They're still at 5 and we're at 21, so it's not really that big a deal. Mike's dad has Vanishing 3. More like Vanishing 28. Mm -mm. The Vanishing is how quickly they leave, not how long they leave for. Oh, then he has Vanishing like 1. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 2. Oh, if man. we're going by age, he has Vanishing like 7. Yeah, he's just been in the graveyard the entire time. He's been exiled from the game the whole time. Oh, yes. Stop killing our things. That's fine. We're going to helix their face. I still don't like them killing our things. Okay, that's fair. These are my things. I want you to stop killing them. Can you guys guess who? It's a real mystery. Kerwit just sent me this. Kerwit, guys. He sent me this and he said, A Japanese friend just gave me this. It heats up your eyes. <laughs> Why would you want to heat up your eyes? <laughs> oh, you know, like you do. I've never thought to myself, hmm, I need to heat up my eyes. Boy, I wish my eyes were a little warmer right now. Well, as long as they don't gain life with this one lumbering falls, I think we got it. I'm gonna do it right now because I don't want them. To, I don't want them to be like, "Whoa, those droll." They don't say that stuff like that, but you know what, man? I was just laying around the other day and I was like, "Man, my eyes are so cold right now." <laughs> I got these chilly ass eyes, and, I, and what can I even do? Is there like a sweater for my eyes that I could wear? It's called your eyelids. Look with your special eyelids. We got core sanctifiers and we got Dara sanctifier. So what? Wow, all the sanctifiers kill their things. Fervent Charge ain't doing it for me. We don't have enough... For some reason, we just haven't been drawing many creatures, I feel like. I think that's just because this is a grindy format and everyone has a bunch of removal, so your guys don't stick for long. Your face doesn't stick for long. Wow. That's rude. <coughs> oh, I totally lied to you that's guys. Too I know, now. man. God, I feel bad about it now. Such a liar. I think Raider spoils that, too, I guess. You should say one sneeze per match. That way you got so I'm sitting in the movie theater and geez, they're pumping the AC. My eyes are freezing. <laughs> I'm feeling ocular blankets are not going to catch on. I've been wrong before, though. Uh, well, I work in a 40 degree cooler and I live in Arizona. When I go outside, I feel my eyes are cold and they have a few seconds to warm up. Feels weird. It hmm. Sounds weird. This is like the best hand I've ever seen. Really? Well, in our in this draft. Yeah. Um, we got all our colors, three lands, and two playables. What more do I need? 
I guess so. Have you ever ser- have you seriously never had cold eyes, or are you like all just mess? I don't think I have. I never thought to myself, "Gee, my eyes are cold." No, that's never happened to me. Yeah, I feel like you're. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Well, they went to six, so that's okay. Look at old cold eyes, dankest dags over here. <laughs> well, I guess I can't believe you guys never have cold eyes. Don't you even guys? Don't you guys know Lavisa Cold Eyes? <laughs> Is that her name? Yeah, it is. Wow, I nailed it. No, 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 this thing. It. Each creature that's a barbarian, a warrior, or a berserker gets plus two in haste. Huh? She'd actually fit in this cube pretty well. Hey, man, can you do me a favor? Mm-hmm. Can you guess who? It's a mystery. Oh, well, then sure. Can you give us some clues to tell? No. Oh, What's your favorite old game like that when you were when you were a kid? Probably Connect Four. Connect Four is pretty classic. I used to really like Battleship. Oh, what is that? It's from Connect Four. Wow. Okay. Then the commercial goes. Alright, take it easy. I don't need any of your I don't need any of your bullshit, Michael. You know what game was really cool? Connect Four. You just said it. Also, Mousetrap. Really? But it was so hard to set up. There were games like that that I really enjoyed, but then I was like, oh god, the work to set this stupid thing up is unbelievable. Hey, Master, we got our. It's a crazy contraption. It's Mousetrap. <laughs> you want me to send you this? Mike B can heat his eyes. <laughs> Oh, no, Kerwin, God. I don't want your weird <laughs> eye heaters. Don't send those. Please don't. Send them. Don't send them. I'll wear it on screen. I'll never wear those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, fuck. I'm dead, dude. What's Battletech? I've never heard of that. The card game or, like, the miniature game? Or was there a different, even, an even different or variety of things? Don't wake daddy. Yeah, that was a weird one. Never I actually played that. I feel like it's kind of not safe to block either of these guys because if I have a spell, I can pump this guy. And if they don't know what this is and we have like... I think this is actually a fine trade. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we got to stop it, man. Why? Because you can't always be ooey in. Yes, I can. Mm-hmm. Ooey, Rick. Hong Kong ooey, number one of Michael B. Why are you awake, uh, dude? I'm never. I never go to bed before this. Five six a.m. is my bedtime. I do something. I'm in my bedroom. That's when I go by my bed. We buy with my little stubby wubby. wubby, wubby. My little stubby wubby. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying right now? Oh, I see. Oh, we discard three cards. Oh, that's too bad. One, a two, who? a three. I think that's fine. I mean, it's not, but. Oh, the game you had to put in the pieces before the timer goes off. I know what you're talking about. Uh, wasn't that? Yeah, wasn't that Pop Goes Perfection? That game was... F- that game Put was the pieces in a block, make the right so, collection. Yeah, that game was miserable. But be quick, you're a reasonable cock. Pop Goes Perfection. Name it? Pop Goes Perfection? Yeah, that game was miserable. Or just Perfection? That game was responsible for my, my anxiety as an adult. <laughs> anxiety of the child terrifying game. Put the pieces in a block. Put the pieces into the slots. Make the right connection. Just fucking anxiety. Man, it's so weird that those those are like so ingrained in your memory that you can remember those songs. And those songs are like thirty years old. Yeah. Man, those guys knew what they were doing. Do you remember Don't Break the Ice? Wasn't it? Didn't you have like a little chisel? Oh, I do remember. And that. you had yeah, to yeah. hit like one ice block. Yeah, it was, it was basically just Jenga, but like on a flat surface. Yeah, it's flat Jenga. Yeah. I haven't been able to catch my streams lately because of uh, work, but at this time I can just watch you work at work. Oh, nice. 
T. Jesse, good to hear it, buddy. Remember, skip it. I don't remember, skip it. Uh, give me some lyrics. Skip it, skip it, skip it, and the bop, the bop. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. No, I don't remember this one. Maybe you can beat your very best score. Maybe you can skip a whole lot more. Skip it. I'm just gonna actually play this on our turn. Wasn't there a messed up Candyland game that was like Snakes and Ladders? Because I want the tr I want the life gain and the trigger. Right? You mean Snakes and Ladders? That's a game. Yeah, I think it was literally called Snakes and Ladders, right? Unless you meant a game <laughs> like Snakes and Ladders. Sock and Boppers, that was just hitting each other in the face. <laughs> Is it worth one life? Was it worth four life and an extra damage? <laughs> when we could actually draw something to play. Uh, no. More fun than a pillow fight. Blow them up. Have the time of your life. Well, that's nice. Dasharu. In before Raf. If we dash, never mind. Try to Raf us. See if we care. And they got another. We got shot a free four three. That was insane. Wow, you guys just clipped me singing Skip It, you traitors. Some dude was like, yo, what if we put a counter on that? And that man? Albert Einstein. <laughs> that was a real Michael that was a real Michael Scott, Chris. Good game well, we're not done yet. Oh, I won the match? Oh. I thought there was oh, I thought there was another game. Wow. As I guess I guess if we can get our mana and we can actually play our spells, uh, we have a better chance of winning. This huh. is Frank's pro tip. That's a pro gamer tip. So is that the, is that the meme? I'm gonna do what's called the pro gamer move here. <laughs> Dang it! Y'all remember bad games based on movies, and they were all the same based uh, Candyland, like Land Before Time board game. Mm. I no, no, I don't remember that either. Do you ever Land of the Lost? Living in the land of the lost. Do you no. remember Fireball Island? No. That was another, that was a game that I loved, but I loved it because it looked cool, and I don't think I ever actually played the game because it was so ridiculous to set up. Like, it was so... I'll see if there's a large, a large image here. I'm trying to find the old one. This I think this is the new one. You see, that might be a little complicated to set up. I think that's the modern one. Yeah, I think that's the modern one, too. I just want to see this old-ass one from the 80s. Anyway, Fireball Island was cool. You can look up Fireball Island 80s. You can look it up. I'm not your dad. <laughs> Unbelievable. God, I'm so tired of you thinking I'm your dad. Get over it, man. He left. He's gone, okay? He's not coming back, Michael. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> I'm not letting him. You can't... What if he just chooses to? What if he's like, you know what? It's Tuesday. I'm going to go back to see my son. I guess that would be weird. It's my son Tuesday. He just, he just knocks on our door one day, and I'm like, uh... Well, hey, Michael. Awkward. I'm back. I quit smoking. <laughs> I thought long and hard on my way to and from the cigarette store. And I decided it's not worth it. And then he gave me a million dollars. I need you back in my life, son. Okay, so we can actually go turn three this guy into turn four fervent charge. That seems pretty good. Mouse trap was just the gateway drug to IKEA. Wow, that's Dagus, actually pretty hilarious. Dags, I just think it's important that everyone knows there's a dark crystal video game coming out on the Switch. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that movie. I haven't either, actually. I want to, because it's supposed to be Labyrinth, but I've heard it's not as good as Labyrinth. I'm a Labyrinth fan. That's why. I think I watched Labyrinth instead, and I never watched Dark Crystal. Didn't like? Isn't Dark Crystal like after it though? You're after it. After what? Yeah, I know, man. I hear you. Okay. Well. Michael, I finally got those cigarettes. Would you like to smoke them with me, son? Yes, Dad. And then they smoked the whole carton together. <laughs> That's going to be added to the fanfic, I think. Please, no. I'm sorry, Michael. <laughs> I 
That's the way it has to be. Seems good, 100. During a second production occurring in the early 1900s, that was referred to by the then CEO as a skip it renaissance. The toy was manufactured with a counter on the skip it ball to record the number of skips. As a result, sales doubled from the late. Is that true? I feel like you just made that up totally. <laughs> oh no, Chris actually quoted that earlier, but he's like, listen, you guys need to read this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like, read it, goddammit. I will I will donate bits Wait, if you just read Wikipedia? this. Wow. He's not making it up. Wow. Skip it renaissance? It's a skip it renaissance, Michael. Okay. Never have kids skipped it as much as this now. There's a counter on this ball. I like how you use like a weird like accent there Michael I'm the CEO of skip it god damn it <laughs> this is just how I sound whenever this permanent face you can draw a card whenever a permanent turn face up you can draw a card what was that two, 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 or star crystal for the first time recently it was an impressive puppeteering feat but the story was super weak and the whole thing felt a little clunky hmm huh huh my dad was the Michelangelo of the skip it renaissance wow that's crazy, dude. I can't even imagine. There's a counter on that ball. Wow, look at the, every one of these triggers is hilarious. 5-4, so you can double block it if you'd like. 3-3, three, three, you can double block that one if you'd like. This card seems very strong once you get it online. What are those? Are those the original skip -its? Ever try to play skip it and bop it at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how strokes happen, Kerwin. Yeah, they're sad looking. They are sad looking. I was like, oh, these look like dog toys. They do. <laughs> uh, if you were at the store and you're like, can I get a skip it? Yeah, my parents would be like, you don't need that dog toy. <laughs> Stop being ridiculous. What's a spigot? What is that? Is that, that? That sounds like something you use on your teeth. Like, oh, I got to get my new spigot out. Like a water pick. Yeah, those are also called spigots. Are they? No, I just made that up. Why would you lie about that? What does it that do for you? What does that do for you, Michael? <laughs> Gives me great joy. Did you put this on the bottom? I don't know, man. You can My go whole life is a lie, Frank. Your whole life is Everything a lie? you know about me, Jeez. all lies. What you know about me. My whole life is a lie. I'm just going to actually use this guy to make tokens. Always yield to that. Always yield to this guy. A spigot is a faucet, which is a lot less. Depends on what you use it for. What if you're having uh, summer fun time with it, and you're going outside, and you're playing with your spigot, and you hook up the one of those little those little water jobbies that that kids can play through. Water jobbies, buddy. You know about the water jobbies. Uh oh, we gonna flip this guy? No, we ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all that nonsense. Oh, no. I said no. Okay, we did it. It was just a sprinkler. <laughs> you know, one of those sprinklers that shot the water that you can play in? Yeah, those are just called sprinklers, man. You don't have to really... Uh... Have you guys ever kissed? Wow, that's a cool question, man. That's a really cool question. <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine being the dude tell. that... Can you imagine being the dude that types that out in the chat and thinking they're like... Hey, have you guys ever done this? Have you guys ever... Have you guys ever kissed? Have your lips ever touched each other? Uh, oh, they get to kill our thing? That thing was keeping me alive, dude. I feel like we're winning this game. I feel like we're, we're in good shape here. So they have two creatures. We have like 70, I think. Oh, we, can we attack with Neil Spires and just kill them? We 100% can, right? Yeah, that's fine. I think so. I'm not even doing the math. <laughs> One kiss. <laughs> Fantastico. I didn't even do the math here, my dude. You don't need to. They're dead. We take one, two, three, four. They only take four. Dang. Oh, they exiled our thing. Never mind. I thought they were super dead. 
Wow, way to go. Like one, two, three, four, five. Do we play land? Oh, we got rid of it. It was the Neil Spires. Dang. I mean, we're still way ahead, right? Like, they have nothing on board, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six creatures. That seems good. Remember when Frank called a sprinkler a water jobby? Dang. One kiss buck again? You have to do it now. That's the rule. I'm going to veto that, my dude. Dang. Well, you know what the people want, Michael. That doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I don't value that that highly. I could care less what the people want. I feel like Chainer's Edict is just good in this format. Considering we've suggested cutting off my eyebrows, uh, removing my spine. Dude, there's been so um, many food challenges that probably would have killed you if you did them. Yeah. I don't... I don't I don't take it too seriously. Let's put it that way. I feel like you should. I feel like you're not taking it seriously enough. Why don't you offer some of these challenges, man? Why don't you? Because I gotta spine? play the games, man. Come on. Oh, that's man. why. It's a tough job. Like you need a spine to play this game. No, but I can't do it while I'm playing the game. Look, you're just you have Look, man, you have more free time. Just stand up while you're playing. You have a ra you can raise your desk. Stand up, you're playing while you're playing. I'll remove your spine. Nug challenge right now. No, I can't. I just ate, dude. <laughs> I he can't. literally had Taco Bell before this. What's the kiss book for? Frank singing Kiss from a Rose? Wow. There used to be a Michael B. Alone. See, I'll do that for free. Yeah, that you don't have to pay you don't even have to pay for that. There's so much on my guitar. <laughs> oh boy. Mike became the light on the dark. Night. Remember when at, we were at Mike Robles house and I sang that while drunk? Did you really? You don't remember that? No, I don't. Was that your karaoke? Yeah. That sounds amazing. Let's do that again. We, I also sung um, uh, Gangster's Paradise. That was the other song I did. Wow. That's impressive. How do I not remember that? I don't know. I'm glad I remember the night. I got pretty toasted. <laughs> Clearly. If you're, if you're, night, if you're uh, kissed from a graving... The, the fact that I'm karaoke at all means I have to be inebriated. Look at this. Look at this curve. Three drop, four drop, five drop. And this guy gets haste, so we're getting that, that, getting that bonus. I mean, can we get a kiss from a rose karaoke on stream? Because that'd be real. I was just trying it, man. If the stream goes long enough, Frank will eventually have to give Mike mouth to mouth resuscitation after he chokes on some nugs. <laughs> Gross. He'd probably just let me die. I would let him die. <laughs> He'd be like, finally. I'm free. <laughs> also, I feel like I've already done the Nug challenge, so if we're going to have me do another eating challenge, it has to be something else, not Nugs. Kerwood, give him another challenge that he can do. How much do we need to donate to have Mike B sing Baby Got Back right now? Wow. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics. I, I We have the internet. I'm pretty nope. sure I can bring them up. Nope. I had the... Why is the music video from Batman Forever? Because that song was in the movie. Why isn't it? Think about that. Hope you got a counterspell. They didn't have... I don't know if it was like written for the movie or not, but I know the music video was that, so who knows. And Michael B. became the Michael B. Also, as terrible as that movie is, I still like it because it's no. very nostalgic to me. No. It might be a challenge you to use a teaspoon that was of cinnamon. Good. That was good English. Hmm, Taco Bell cinnamon ball challenge. Oh, the oh, cinnamon challenge. Delicious. Yikes. Cinnamon? Cinnamon? What's the cinnamon ball challenge? How many do you have to eat? Because that doesn't seem like a challenge at all. That I think seems just like made a that up. treasure. <laughs> yeah, those things are delicious. Oh, they said, oh boy. <laughs> What's going on? Are you going to do something broken? Okay. I'm worried about what they're going to do here. Hey, man. Mossy Beard. Batman Forever isn't the one with uh, Mr. Freeze in it, okay? That was the one after it. Are they going to flip this? Is this an Antuco boy? Oh, it was not an Antuco boy. He was an Antuco boy. Since see him later. Boy. Take a triple Baconator. Okay. Replace the buns with McChicken patties. So I have to go to two restaurants so far. Then use two slices of Domino's Pizza's buns. <laughs> Gross. Monster Beard, I'm 100% sure. Batman and Robin was the other one. Batman Forever was the one with... Look, uh, look, did I pull it off? I said that's for sure a pro gamer move. 
Nice. Nailed it. Na 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 nailed it. Yeah, Batman Forever was the one with Jim Carrey as the Riddler and Cringe. Tommy Jones as Two Face. Tommy Jones. You guys are on a Tommy Jones name basis. Wait, what? His name is Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy. Okay, Tommy Lee. We Jones. call him Tommy Jones. We call him Michael Fox too. <laughs> hey, who's that guy from Back to the Future? Michael Fox. And Batman and Robin was, was the movie after, which was much much worse. Thank us a thousand bits. This money is for karaoke stream. Please make it happen. Y'all choose the songs and sing them in full. Oh, boy. I think we did. We just 2 0. 2 1. 3 2 1. Did our. Did our Mardu deck get there? Did it this card. Did. This card was bonkers. This fervent. Fervent charge. Well, people said the Salt Eye was good and the, this one was and the Mardu was good. So. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Head on over to those pages and support the channel. Support it, guys. And check out manatraders.com. You can get a 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And I have a new article on coolstuffing.com that you can check out. It went up yesterday, which is Wednesday, and it's about mono white in modern. So check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you don't, I'll sneak into your room with these on. That's me. That's me too. That's you messed me. it up. Uh, too late. Dang it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>